I don't, I don't like their keyboards. I don't think they make mechanical keyboards. But anyways, we're in. All right. We got so Mars Puff going right into it. Honestly, actually, I think Terrence could do pretty well in this matchup. I think, like, Fast is a proponent of pivoting and F smashing at random moments. Uh, to, so I think that will catch, like, the drift pretty well. Uh, it's just a matter of if he's going to let KRC live to, like, 1 billion percent. Because... You know, Mart is really good until this pup gets like to a certain percent and then you just have to fish for side B up tilt and then there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh, oh, but he gets see? the F smash yeah, off right that there. Like, uh, doesn't quite kill, but that was quite a tipper. Oh. Gets the final oh hit God. of side B and that's going to kill. That's He's an impressive first stock like, from Terrence. You should go back to school. He's a fucking genius. Oh. Okay. So yeah, he's just playing the spacing game. I think it's best when Marth doesn't jump very often in this matchup. Yeah, Cause... Marth is vulnerable in jump, I think, versus Marth Puff. aerials are really, really good. But like, if you're just kind of like waiting in the air to like hit like a late aerial, it's not the best thing. Yeah, Puff can punish that because Puff has incredible good, incredibly good drift. Dash back fares, dash back. Ooh. Oh. Hits with the raw ass smash. Honestly, like, if you're not comfortable punishing Puff, I think that is a good thing to do, especially with the tipper, because that just does hella damage. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, like, the shield breaker, because um, if they just hold shield, like, on, you know, reaction or off the wake up, they'll just die. Actually, I would love to see if you just F smash from there, because, you know, Marth can kind of contest that pound where, like, a lot of characters can with their discard. That was beautiful. Fast is playing beautifully right now. Yeah. Definitely doing what needs to be done in this matchup. Oh, oh. that's so tragic. This could be an opportunity oh. for Fast to get an early stock, but isn't able to quite capitalize on it. Charging F Smash in neutral, quite a uh, kind of forward move. He just does not care. He is just running yeah. through him right now. I mean, I guess he's up a stock. Why not throw it out? Yeah. One thing, the weakness of Fast is he does too much. So I want to see if that can be extorted a little bit here. But, like, so far, KRC has been kind of weak. Oh, oh KRC missing go. a weak very the important rest there. Does that kill? Yeah, that's going to kill fully charged and spaced correctly. Yeah. But I didn't hear the tipper noise, so I wasn't quite sure. Oh, nice. Goes for the down air. Actually, the down air, like, t pseudo tech chase is kind of pretty good here. Dude, we can just, like, chain the down air, especially surface effects. Run behind F smash. There you go. Another trademark. Oh, actually, I do like the recovery option there pretty well. I'm just playing the corner, playing it slow. I don't want Fast to like rush this too hard. Just like find the good moment where he can just like throw out like a good mix up and just like he can win at any moment now uh, off a good F smash. Maybe if he, a grab pivot F smash would be good. Uh, his pivots are pretty good. Like he's got good pivots. For sure. Ooh, run behind F smash. Oh, nice. Oh. It doesn't kill. Doesn't no quite tipper. kill. Yeah, no tipper there. The tipper uh, would definitely would kill, but. but. Yeah, and now KRC now in that percent that you were talking about earlier, where Marth kind of needs to get a side B up tilt to get a kill here. Yeah. Nothing quite is going to, no stray hits quite kill here, and nothing really links into other things at this percent. This matchup's hard from the Marth perspective. It um, is, and it isn't at the same time. It's quite strange. For the longest time, this matchup was thought to be hella losing for Marth. Uh, this ought to be like as bad as Sheik Puff, uh, but like, yeah, I don't know. Recently, if I heard that. a lot of developments have come across to make it more even. I would say this is a pretty close to an even matchup. Yeah, th I, I would call this matchup pretty even as a retired Marth man. You just need to like. Oh, play correctly. And then that's gonna be up. it. Oh, down, smash. down smash to finish it up. Mix up the DI to be fair. Yeah, good option select there. Just lines it up. Take your time. Take your time. But yeah, there's plenty of time after a rest. I want to see if you can pull it together a little bit. He's playing a little weak right now. He missed three rests. Looks so like far. we're going to be going back to Battlefield, though, for this game, too. Actually, Interesting. I, I would go... Well, I guess Dreamland's banned, but... like. I wonder... I, I've heard a lot of conflicting opinions on whether the Battlefield or FOD is a better counterpick for Puff. But I think versus Marth, FOD is not a good counterpick. Oh, honest to God, I don't even mind FD for Puff. Uh, I think, like, Marth is not... Oh, misses another rest. And that's going to be a s early, early stock for Fast. Yeah, I think I think the logic is, like, you can gimp 
Marth here with the blow the black to kind of just like run under and like your, your recovery is just so much better than Marth. That can be pretty easy exploited. No double jump. Actually good to get like the good spacing on that. Getting something started there with that Nair oh. into a forward oh. air. Ooh. Wait. Good extensions. Wait, wait. Sticky walk. Okay. Terrence is kind of going off right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. He's playing kind of well. well. He's playing hot. Yeah. Looking poised to take this set as a clean 2-0. Gets by the back air, you're pretty much dead here. Uh, even if you have your, well he uses double jump early, but even if you use your double jump late, there's no way you're making it back. No. Uh, Puff is at 72% here, but this is still very even, I would say. Oh, this is the pivot. That's rough. When you miss the pivot, you kind of like are in this really screwy position. Yeah. Um. Fast looking for something here to get a kill confirm. Gets a non tipper F smash. Oh. Goes for the whole thing. I think if he actually did a side B up tilt, it could have killed there. Maybe if not, just like send really, really high. And then Marth is in this really good charging position because yeah. Marth is so fast on the ground. Oh, almost griefs it there. Oh. Gets him with the tipper F smash there. That's definitely going to be again. important. Yeah. I'm just whacking that C stick sometimes. Yeah, I mean, he's got that metal C stick. Yeah. He's ready to whack it. Oh. Low profile. Honestly, I want to see him try to go for that more often, like the low profile, because you can, like, really fuck up Marth, especially ones that kind of. I like that down smash on platform from fast to catch yeah. the rising puff. That's uh, really, really cool and very creative. I really love how fast he's playing is super, super slow. Like, yeah. He's not like not aggressive at all, but he's like kind of taking his time on like certain punches, and he'll like wait for KRC to like try to react to something, you know? Yeah, for sure. And he's honestly, I think a lot of the kills he's getting, he's catching up when like KRC is kind of being lazy on drift or like on a positioning, and punishing like things that might not be as strong in like this level of play. Oh, misses the F smash just barely. Goes for it again, but uh, Karras is going to DI out that time. Gets the raw F smash there, and that'll kill, so well. yeah. Let's go, Terrence. Oh. Gets cut out there. All right, and so now it's one stock apiece. Uh, but Terrence has made an argument that he's can just take this, even yeah, from this position. Yeah, he's pretty good against floaties. Yeah. He beat an ICs in the crew battle the other week and like pretty dominant. Everyone, like all the spaces were like super worried. He just went in and just diced him up. Yeah. This is where it can all go away. All of his hard work can just dissolve in a second. Oh. Gets just the first oh, hit of F smash. Over. Gets F smash. Or just the jump early. Like, oh, yeah. and that's going to do it. And we're going to game three. Going to game three. Going to Yoshi's, like, 99% sure we're going to Yoshi's. If Terrence doesn't go Yoshi's, this is insane. Yoshi's. There's, like, sure. the possibility that he might want to go FD, but I don't think it's a good idea. He should go Yoshi's. I think Yoshi's got banned. Oh, yeah. right. This is a best of three. All right. Pokemon Stadium. I like the option here. It's got a low ceiling, which is uh, good versus Puff. Platforms are also a really good sword height, too. Yes. So you can kind of trap the recovery, and there's no threat of a top flat. I want to see if these players kind of, like, dissolve as the game goes on and stays close. Like, will they stay consistent to their game plan, or will they kind of start to, like, get really, really nervous? Yeah. KRC definitely looking a lot stronger uh, towards the end of that last game, and definitely in this game. Looking poised to take the first stock right now. Yeah. And that back air should do it. Yeah. KRC now up for the first time in this set, I believe. Yeah. No, for sure. Uh, and so we'll, uh, we'll get to see what it's fast over. does with the it's, disadvantage. It's Gets an early uh, death there, unfortunately. No play? All right. Good luck. What's up? <laughs> we got Joyface joining us. Yo, is that a puff? Oh. Yeah, this is Marth Puff. Yeah. 
And that's great because Terrence Fast was warming up against Puff, and I was telling him the keys to this matchup, which is pretty much, oh no. Oh my god, he gets CC rested. He gets CC rested. Pretty much in this matchup, the key for Puff is you want to keep Oh, you want to keep Marf in that corner because he cannot get out the corner. It's really hard. So you just force him to do a hard commit. Like he either wants to like dash through or he's gonna do like a random aerial, like forward. But that's really bad. You can see some rest, it's a grab, wave dash back. Yeah. Just, like, forward. Karasi is gonna take another stock here. And that's, that's pretty much what he's doing, is keeping Terrence right in that corner. Yeah. There's nothing Terrence can do. Karasi absolutely showing that he made adaptations from that game one yeah. uh, and is not looking to lose again. You got to go play. I do, but I want to see how this puff ends up as a stock. Keep him in the corner, keep him in the corner. I'm Very biased, good pressure from Karasi. Ooh, the spot dodge. Uh, Terrence wants this. this Dash attack, but dash attack is really bad versus Puff. The risk reward is yeah. not good. He's just been, he, I, he's just kind of throwing things out, and KRC is learning to not get hit by all the random hitboxes. Yeah, especially when Puff gets like above like 130, it becomes really tough as Mark, because you can't like grab follow up anymore, at least I don't think so. Uh, and so now you have to just straight aerial for the kill. Yeah, you either have to do that or get a side B up tilt, which is... And even still, Puff can still wiggle out of the side B. Yeah. And not get hit by the up tilt. So it's Absolutely. just very tough. Well, this is like kind of a good percent for Marf right now. Uh, in terms of getting a grab follow-up, but it looks like it's a rapas. Yeah. Rapas right. for my boy. That's a, that's a pound and we were out of there. All right, and that'll take the first set of the night. Hey. KRC taking I, I it 2-1. Understand that's a tough matchup. That fast is a tough matchup. Fast played it pretty well.